Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ, and this is our Getting Started series with PDQ Connect Episode 4. And today we are taking a look at the package library in PDQ Connect. The package library in PDQ Connect consists of dozens and dozens of pre-built packages that are built by us, PDQ, okay? We build them, we test them, we vet them, we update them, mainly so you don't have to. So we do all the work on our end, so you can just take all the credit and glory on your end, okay? So let's dive into PDQ Connect and take a look at them. So here we are in PDQ Connect. Make sure you are on the packages tab right here. And this is going to be where you're gonna find all of your packages, both pre-built packages in the package library, as well as your own custom packages that you build. As we go through here, you'll see that we also have this, if you watched our previous episodes, you'll see that we kind of have our, our search and our filters up here. That'll make it easier to identify which packages you're looking for. But if we want to specifically look for packages built by PDQ, we can quickly go up here, type in PDQ, and what that's gonna do, that's gonna filter through all the columns that you see on the screen here. And it's gonna look for packages built by PDQ. But there is a little gotcha that I'll point out here. So you'll see down here that it says we've got 172 packages. Well, I actually know for a fact that we have 171 in here right now. And keep in mind that this list is always growing. We're always adding new packages to the package library. Because I search for PDQ, what's happening is that's actually searching uh, this source column right here, but it's actually searching the entire thing. So if there's any packages in here labeled PDQ, it's gonna pull them in as well. In fact, if I scroll down here, PDQ test. So this one, you can see it's not built by PDQ. It was actually a custom package built by myself, but it returned it because we did a search up here. So the way we can change that, let's get rid of that search and we'll go into our filters right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search by this source column. So we'll drop that down, select source, contains, and here we can put PDQ. And you'll notice down here at the bottom that we have 171 returned packages. So that's just an easy way to quickly identify which packages were uh, built by PDQ and which are constantly ma maintained by us, okay? And like I said, that that list is always gonna just keep growing as we add more and more packages to the package library. The package library consists of a lot of like mainstream applications that most organizations are gonna use. So you'll find things like Adobe Reader in here, Audacity, Blenders, you're gonna see, you're gonna see your Chromes, uh, Firefox, um, Opera. Uh, you'll also see a lot of the Microsoft updates and stuff. We go ahead and take care of those cumulative updates for you. So, and these packages are great because like I said, we update them. So anytime you come in here, once we update them on our end, you'll automatically see them on their latest version here in the package library. Now, there's a couple really cool things you can do when you're in here looking at these packages. Let's go ahead and pull up Google Chrome because that's probably one of the most popular packages in the package library because, I mean, everybody uses it. But let's go ahead and open this up. There's a couple cool things I want to point out. First, we keep track of the versioning of these packages. So you can quickly go in here and see the history of these packages. And if you know anything about Chrome, you know it gets updated all of the time. So here we can go all the way back to when PDQ Connect was launching, 2022, and you can see when we first uh, built these packages and brought them in. So we've got this versioning history that you can take a look at. The other thing that's cool to look at, so we've got our versioning history. The other thing that's really cool is you can go through and actually click on the version number right here. And as that pulls up, what you can actually do is see how the package is built. Okay, you can't modify these, these settings at all, but you can go through and get an idea of, you know, we've got the name, the version, our awesome workers here at PDQ put in a nice description. I mean, I always do it. I swear I always put in a great description, but you know, some people might not. You can see the applications that are being installed. We've got the 32-bit, the 64-bit. You can see the parameters that we're using. You can see if we've got any like kind of special sauce, what I call it, to the package to just make sure that they're always installing correctly. In this case, we're disabling, disabling the auto update feature of, of Google Chrome. So you can take this information, you can go back and do this with any of our packages in there. You can take this information and use it as a guide when you're building your own packages. It makes it really, really easy to kind of like go through and be like, oh, okay, well they did this, they used this step. And you can do that as kind of like a, uh, a template for your own packages. So let's go back out to our packages here. And we're gonna take a look at just deploying one really quick. And when you're ready to deploy one of these custom packages, simply select it, click deploy. 
You can see I've got a couple things here already selected, so we'll unselect those. We just want 7-Zip. And I wanna point out really quick, uh, we store like the last five versions of a package for you. So if you do run into an issue where uh, uh, the latest update is running into some, into some conflicts in your environment, you can actually drop that version down and deploy an older version out if you need to, okay? That probably won't happen too often, but right before we deploy it, we got 7-Zip here. We can select a different version. We could go all the way back to 21.7 if we wanted to. Then we just go and select our group or our computers, select them, hit deploy, and that will de be deployed for you, okay? Thank you for joining us for this video, guys. If you have any questions about the process or if you just wanna chat, you know, maybe ask me how my day's going, that's what the comment section's for. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna make sure you're watching the rest of our videos as they get released, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you for watching. For PDQ, I'm Brock.